Hi everybody, it's Pete. And in this Camera Lucida 9.0 tutorial, we're going to talk about the different ways of creating time-lapse videos of your drawing in progress. There's nothing more fun than creating a recording of the work being created live to share with other people. And with 9.0, you get a whole new bunch of ways of doing that. If you bring up the main menu down here, you'll see that there's a new feature called recording time lapse versus recording screen capture. Screen capture is the idea that when you make a recording, you actually are going to be recording every single thing that you see in the application. It's going to ask you for, for permission to use the screen and the microphone. And when I hit that record button, everything that I'm doing is actually being recorded live, audio, you name it. When you hit the stop button, it's actually going to give you the ability to preview your video. If I turned up the audio, you'd actually hear it. Live. Audio, you name it. And then you can share that, save it. If you want to be able to uh, upload it to Facebook or something like that, you can do that, upload it to YouTube, Whatever features you have available, it's going to be able to uh, use those programs to be able to post that video, including, of course, saving it to your, your camera roll. But a word of caution, these videos are very large. The other way of recording is time lapse. That's one of my favorite ways of doing it. If you bring that up and you hit that little toggle, it goes back to recording time lapse and you get a little slider that comes on that allows you to control the final speed of the output video that it creates. So if you want the video here every, every minute to take a second, you'd set it on 60. I usually put it down to about 30 or so. Then when you record, what you end up getting is a drawing that represents you creating your art in time-lapse. That's going to be a very small video. It's going to ask you for permission the first time to write to your camera roll. And then you can share that, you can play it, you can uh, post it, mail it, you can send it to, as a message, you name it. So if you see online people are creating time-lapse videos, that's how they're doing that. One of the other things that you might want to be aware of is the fact that there's a settings page for Camera Lucida. And in that settings page, let's swipe down here. There it is, Camera Lucida. You can control whether or not the user interface elements, the buttons, the menus, are recorded, and whether or not, as you're zooming and panning, the actual final recording shows those or not. You can turn those on or off. Also, if you're worried about the size, you can change the resolution of the final image. This number here represents the smaller dimension, so a 1080p will be 1920 by 1080 for an iPhone 6, etc., etc. There are other features that are in this settings page, including things like controlling the the camera. Uh, being able these all of these features are for the mirroring capabilities, um, and these keystrokes enable you to be able to use a Bluetooth keyboard with the application. In the next video, I'll be going over how to use the application with a front camera. Stay tuned.